Hi, this is Gary with MacMOS Now. On today's episode, I want to show you how to record the screen of the iPad. So, I've been asked this question a lot How do I record the screen of the iPad for an episode of the show? Well, originally with the iPad 1, there was no way to record directly from the iPad into a video. You basically had to point a camera at the screen, turn off all the lights, focus the camera perfectly on the iPad, and then you could see my finger moving around on the screen as I navigated through different things on the iPad to demonstrate something. But with the iPad 2, there's a better way, and this only works with the iPad 2. You need to get this adapter cable, which is from Apple, and it's their digital AV cable. It basically takes the dock on the one end of the iPad and gives you an HDMI output. Now the video output from the iPad 2 shows exactly what's on the screen. It mirrors it with a couple of exceptions. One is, for instance, when you're showing a video, it will then show the video full screen and not mirror what is going on on the iPad. The same thing for doing, say, a presentation in Keynote. And there's probably other apps that also have a presentation mode to the video output and it takes away the mirroring and replaces it with that presentation. But for most purposes you see exactly what's on the screen. Now typically you would then go from here to a television or projector and show what you're doing on the iPad on a large screen. But there are devices that can take HDMI as an input and you can record what's going on. So on my Mac Pro I happen to have the Matrox MX02 Mini card which has a breakout box and it's what I use to record this video right here. I have a camera going out through HDMI into that box. But instead of having a camera go into the box I can have the iPad 2 with this adapter go directly into it. Then I have to use a video recording program to record the video coming into the Mac. Uh, I've been using Boinks TV. It seems to work better and record a better image than Wirecast which is what I use to record this. Although I'm sure software updates and things will change in the future. And there are other programs you can use to record the video as well. Now it's not perfect yet. From the iPad you can either get 720p HD or 1080p HD. Yet the Matrox card and also the Blackmagic card only allows input up to 1080i. So I can't get the full 1080p input. I have to settle for 720p. So perhaps in the future there will be a better alternative. Perhaps using the Thunderbolt port. Now an alternative to the Matrox card is the Blackmagic card. and This gives you an HDMI input into your Mac. It's a simpler solution and seems to have about the same features but I haven't been able to try it. Alternatively you could use any device that records from HDMI. So perhaps there's some tape decks and cameras out there that will take HDMI input and record it. But I haven't tested any of those out. Now there are other adapters for the iPad 2. The Output to VGA adapter. That one will do the same thing as the HDMI and will show exactly what's on the screen. So if you have a way to record VGA into some device you can use that. However, the component out and the standard video out adapters, those will not mirror what's on the iPad and will only show presentations and videos as they would have on the iPad 1. So there are the basics. iPad 2 to the HDMI cable into a card like the Matrox MX02 and then recorded with software on your Mac. And that's how we we'll record what's going on in the iPad screen. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.